Hi, so today is very special to me. So a little over two years ago, I think it was maybe, I thought it was, it was two over two and a half years ago, we went for our very first baby scan today. And what is, what's so incredible about it is like, it's, it's, it's amazing how in that moment, it feels like time is standing still and because this is the first time that you're going to get to see your baby. This is the first time that those kicks and those movements are actually going to be like attached to another human being. And I was, I was, I was, I was quite nervous. I will be honest. It was quite nerve wracking. And I did think, you know, maybe now it's real. Now I'm a dad. Now, I mean, the fact that the scam is literally happening now I'm a dad. And, and, I remember thinking to myself, all the movies and every single scenario, whenever I see people with that mach and then do that, I kept thinking about how many times did any of the dads pass out? And I, and I, and I don't know why I was thinking about that. It's not like I was going to pass out, please. Yes, this is the first time I'm going to see and hear my child. But it was exciting. Uh, and, and when I walked into that room and the lady started like talking to us about what's going to happen. I always find it so strange when somebody that's been doing something for the longest time explains to you what, it, what they're going to be doing. They sometimes leave out important details, I think, because they've been doing it for so long for them. It's just like, ah, it's easy peasy. And she does the thing with the tummy. And I'm like, okay, wow, I'm going to listen to the sound of my daughter's heartbeat for the first time. And I'm like, I thought I was going to pass out. It was it was one of the most phenomenal things I've ever experienced. I've I heard her through her mommy's tummy before. Like I've done that. Later on tummy and been like, oh, and then I hear it like that. But nothing like it. It's incredible. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably why why today, what makes today special for me. Today, what makes today special for me is today is the first day I got to see and hear my baby because we went for our scan and that was amazing. So if you just jumped in, hi, good afternoon. It's so fabulous to have you in with me. I was just sharing a little short story about what makes today special for me because every day is special but it's important to find that thing that makes it special and i got a reminder which is so awesome like did you know your phone can do more than just scroll hey wow and take photos of food you probably don't post uh, <laughs> but you can also like set reminders of important times and things and i got a reminder this morning which was awesome kind of got me a bit broody like to me smoothie now like oh yeah yeah you know so buy a barbecue like yeah i know but Sometimes it makes you think. I don't know if if you're a parent. If you're a parent, I know I, I've got a two and a half year old at the moment. Now I only say two and a half year old because I feel like that half is actually written without the decimal, so it's like twenty five year old. That's about this tall. That's 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 what she acts like, and and it was amazing. Like the first few weeks, it's it's like oh it's so cute, and I'm panicking because I'm nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen, but. They are the, the best because they poop, sleep, drink any titi, and that's about it. And it's like very predictable. But when they start walking and running and being able to say stuff, it's like, wow, it's uh, can Can some of you parents please help me understand? When you stop happening, I ask permission of my own child to do something that before I would be like, Come, let's eat supper. And be like, yay! Now it's like, is it okay if we eat supper now? When does it stop? Does it does it ever? Or is it just like a thing that carries on happening? And from here, it's just going to progress to like, all right, when can mommy actually get a phone call from you and just to say hi and how are you? Look, I'm glad it's far away, but I don't want to be that child. I'm just saying. If you have any kids, give me some advice. Um, I'm, I'm starting to think about babies a lot more. And it's not because I feel sexy because I stood on the scale this morning. I couldn't believe my eyes. My 
mirror is lying to me. It must be. There must be something wrong with the mirror because according to the mirror, it's saying like this stuff here and this, like I think, okay, well, it's kind of a little bit less now, but it's only because like I'm, I'm trying to do push-ups. Uh, but, but, but my mirror told me a different story to what my scale told me. So I'm going to go with what the scale said. So I don't just feel sexy. The scale says so. Um, and because of that, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should try for another one. I'm like, no, 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 I don't do that. They're fun to make, but it's difficult to keep up. So I hope you had a fabulous weekend and you had a great time. Thank you for joining me today on the Etienne's Live. We're going to take it very easy this week. I am really focusing my attention on creating all the fantastic videos that are coming out and finishing editing and putting them together for what's coming for for this week. I'm also really putting a lot of my energy behind driving a lot of matriculants that might not have gotten into university, might not got into college. I might not have an idea yet of what they might want to do, but it's looking for some work experience. I'm really trying to drive that um, as far as I can. So if you know anybody or if you are familiar with somebody that might need an opportunity, please let them try it out. Complete the form by clicking the income opportunity opportunity thingy in the link and it's really, really, really helpful. The point why I'm really putting a lot of energy behind this is because I I don't know if you can remember what it was like when you were finished with matric. But I know matric is far now for, for, for me and my fab because my baby girl's only that little. But I mean, I can still remember when I was, I, I was, the results came out in the newspaper, right? And I was, I finished school in, in Cape Town, but I, because I almost grew up in Johannesburg, it's Mr. Jovo boy, Pretoria boy. And uh, right, so bro, I was like, just chilling in Joburg. Uh, when it was like matric results and stuff, bro. And like, everybody's like, yo, bro, it must be like Lank Lonnie living in Cape Town and stuff. And I was like, yo, bro, like, freaking amazing. But the results came out for Joburg and Cape Town's was like a day or so after and everybody got their results and I didn't know. And I mean, I felt like, ah, oh, I did my thing. I mean, not... Not that it has anything to do with it, but the only thing I didn't like about school was the fact that they limited the the amount of freedom I had to explore my opportunity to choose. Like, yes, you can say, pick these subjects, but I mean, if you decide beforehand what the subjects are that I can choose, am I really making a choice? Anyway, not the point. I, that, that was like, other than that, I love school. The teachers were amazing. The effort that they put into everything was awesome. I mean, I was lucky. I got a really nice ride. I mean, I was a head boy. I got to, I was in, uh, involved with the drama. It was like, it was, it was fun. I got to, I explored as much as possible other than just the, the go to school, learn whatever lies, all truths, whatever they have. And I felt like I did a pretty good job. Like my trick, I spent time. I actually like stayed. My mom even got me that, for mega memory or don't and for what is that the botanicus sound study sound cack that thing <laughs> we had to like listen to the sound it was like ooh it does work like the science is solid but I mean that time I was like listen egg pop my freak I don't remember bugger all what they said in accounting and you want me to try and write this exam now I did my best I really tried and my family really supported me and I was very fortunate and maybe you were too but a lot of kids during that time, even some of my friends were not that lucky. They didn't have the convenience and the comfort and, and like the, the opportunity to complain and bitch about the fact that, oh, I've got to like study for my exams. And like they were like down to like, this is it. If I am not going to make a plan here, then there's no future for me or everybody else that's depending on me. So when I was like getting, when everybody was getting their results, even though I knew, like I knew, I knew, I'm like, please. Even if it's just like a rank thing, they're like, they're never going to let the head boy fail, bruh. Never. What? Imagine. Imagine. Let me know that they can do that. And uh, there's no need for you to be a head boy to, to, to fail. You can fail. Uh, but I, I live with, for that day or two, I can't remember. Everybody else around me celebrating. Everybody around me is just, oh, my word, I can't believe it. Now I'm university because I passed with exemption. And like I knew, I knew I was gonna pass. I knew I. I didn't think it was gonna be like, wow, it's in. It was more like, ah, I'm a good near man. Shame, I don't slap. But no, when everybody found out, and 
seeing their reaction, it started playing with my mind and I was like, whoa, maybe. And it brings me to this important reason why I'm pushing so hard for any matriculants, any school leavers, anybody that is sitting in the position where they are like, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't, I find, I need an opportunity. But you know what, like I can't, I, I've got so much other things that I'm also doing at the same time. Um, or I'm just looking for some work experience and I really feel like I want to try to connect with someone that's going to give me value that I can carry on for maybe when I do go study or if I do actually look for a different job. That's why I'm really driving this because I remember what it felt like when everybody else knew their results and I didn't. That panic, that anxiety, what's my mom going to say? Not even what's my mom going to say? What are the people going to say? And I know it doesn't matter. You can tell me. I know. I'm one of those people that say, yo, it doesn't matter. Screw what people think. It doesn't matter what they, bro. Even me, I sometimes, I get, I feel it. I do feel it because we're human. And if you don't feel it, then it means that there's somewhere that there's a hurt that really needs to be healed and that you need a hug and you need some growth and to really look into why you aren't feeling anything. But when you're in that moment and you feel like, what are people going to say about my mom? The woman that spent, worked extra hours. What are they going to say about my dad that took on extra jobs, went to a different country to not make, see any of the money just so that, and here I could have failed. It's not even about passing or failure. I think it's more about the disappointment and what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to say and what I'm also really hoping to achieve with the people that I've tired myself, not tied myself to, that I've joined forces with because they are on the forefront of really trying to make a big difference, not only for South Africa, but for South Africans. That's you and everyone you know that needs some form of help. And I know you're like, okay, but now how do you do this? And it's like, okay, what are some of the things that most people have access to that they can use in order to generate funds? They need an internet connection. So you just got to have some form of an internet connection where there's data or you've got Wi-Fi or if you do like what I used to do back in the day. Oh man, I used to hustle hard. I'd like, I would make a plan to make a hundred rand, whatever it would take, a hundred rand for me to make for one week. And then I take that 20 rand and this is a shout out, not sponsored. Thank you, Wimpy. Because Wimpy would let me have a cup, a pot of rooibos tea. And sometimes they'd even give me a cookie. I'd have a pot of rooibos tea for 20 rand. Sit there the whole day. The internet. What was that? It was middle square. And I had to find a way because I was tired. I was stuck in not having an option, not having the freedom to choose. So I know people are going to say, yo, but internet data is expensive. And not everybody has fiber. Not everybody has fiber. If you have an internet connection to stream some videos, if you're able to watch some content, you can some of that, not all of it. Don't do that. That's the beauty of this whole thing. It's like, I'm even like right deep involved with it because I really want to make sure that the success of what I know it can, whatever influence and input I can give to that, I'm going to try. So I know that if you can even just give a little bit, just try instead of like, I'm going to watch, I'm not going to watch Etienne's lives anymore. I'd rather you not watch my live video and rather spend that 30 minutes dedicating to and you get taught all of it and you get shown how to do this it's like our oh, work a business it's legit legitimately just generation of leads and with that internet connection smartphone or laptop you can start working on trying to at least make a difference and the beauty of it all is is that whatever you put in is what you can get out so the more you put in the more you have available to you the more that you can really be like look i'm taking a gap year I figured that I'm rather not going to go and study. I I have an option. I'm just not sure of what I want to do. Uh, I don't want to stay at home all day and just watch TikTok and get lazy. So let me give it a go. You can legitimately turn this into a business that you can run for yourself and then go and study when you're ready for it. So I know you hear this a lot. I was in the same place. Everybody trying to sell me the dream, trying to tell me about this thing. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It's not some overnight success thing. It costs work. It costs attention and it costs your dedication to yourself. Not the, not the job, not the product, not the offering, but to yourself. And it's really close to my heart because I, I feel like the direction we're going at, trying to make an, an option available for matriculants 
is more important now than it has ever been before. So that was just what I wanted to share today. Um, I, I'm going to give over to the comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys. And then, I mean, even if it's not in the half hour, um, then I'll stick around if you want. And we can just chat for a bit. But really, if you know someone or if you even think of somebody, if you don't want to share, share the opportunity with them, if you don't want to send it to them, if you are comfortable, send me your message in a, uh, send me a message in the inbox. I'll make a video. I'll personally, I will personally make a message for your matriculant that you might need to maybe just give a little bit of, it, of, of motivation for to give it a try. They don't have to commit. There's no like, oh, now you're in it. Just have to try. And, and if they've got a dream, if they've got a, vi a vision for the future, if they're also tired, like what I was at Wimpy, like tired of having the same rubbish, the same excuses become a reason for me not being able to live. I got tired of that and I said it was time for me to act. I mean, the same amount of energy I was spending on moaning about it and trying to, and, and, uh, it's bringing me nowhere, let me just try. I will personally send them a message. I really feel passionate about this and I think it's about time that we use all the things, all the tools, all the gifts, all the talents, all the connections, all the abilities, all the words, all the sounds, all the looks, all the everything we have that we can use to help someone else, anyone that you know you can help. Let's try and do that. So send it to a matriculant, send me a message, let me know, and I'll try and help them out. I will make sure I send them a message. All right, let's go to the chats. Aisha, what's up, girl? Os iti me peanut butter ni my scatterable for nine feet os jaham. I experienced that afternoon. Oh, with babies. So you asked, you're not having a baby yet. Kaylin, also welcome. Nice to have you here. Ach, dit gaan fantastisch, Aisha. Kan nie, kan nie, kan nie klaar nie. It's always so nice to have you here, man. That's, it's like, this is my, 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 my daily refresh where I just feel like, you know what, I have hope. And I believe that there is more than just the positive intention that's out there in the world. There are positive people because too many of us are connecting here. And I love that. There's this consistency. I feel like it might not look that way, but you're contributing somehow. However small you might consider, you're contributing to making it better. All the babies out there. Oh, get us all choked up here, man. I'm... Oh, cuz, Yakune, all the way in the North Cup. Up in the Nigerian, you're a smell seeker, that's what you're getting. I'm going to tell you, the government is going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you, 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 when a man with this arm is going to warm. Oh, you smell it in my neck. It's lief for you. Stay good for until I get back on my show. Rico, great. Welcome. It is good to have you. Welcome. Not in my head. You so come for beyond some nights. I like it. Oh, do all this money. It's all this what matters. I love it. Your summer body evaluated. Girl, I'm telling you this summer. So just so I can catch you up, I stood on the scale and the mirror's been lying. I am sexier than what the mirror says. That's goodus, but the scale says there isn't goodus. So echa man, die for that. It was the fun. Summer body 2022. He come like come us doing push ups. I'm girl. My can can no idea, but my say daddy's boobies me and me. Oh man, it's so good. Ah, nice to hear from you, XZ. So big. Ah, respect. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. It's a good slide to come join. And for that, for all of you, so sentimental, as man, I'm glad you're here. So. We put it each the the secret to look me as brother. That are aiming to ease the reasonings. Hundred percent, thank you, Kaylin. Aisha, thank you. Please do make that video so we can share. Okay, so maybe you maybe want me to make like a, a rather a single video that you can share. That really is an appeal to. The, okay, now it's a good plan. I can work the person like in the mark. I think I can a general in for the matriculant to do. That's gonna be what I'll make my attention. Thank you. That's a great idea. I shall appreciate that. Ah, uh, the Ashanti, the Ashanti, welcome, sister. And I see you are in caucus with our comrade. The motion carries. Do not worry, it is tabled, and we will action. Canada. Oh, wait, 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 Canadian. Oh, I love Canada, eh? No, no, Canadians don't just say that. I'm sorry. I'm the Great Wait North. That is not sound like a Canadian! 
Canada, it's good to have you here. Cornel Vanderstein. Cornel Vanderstein, I went to say something, but they speak French, so pardon sur les humains pour les leaders. A religion man pour valoriser un coulet. Mon petit religion là, voulez-vous avec chien avec moi? Gucci, aya, vous vous maman dada. Où je l'ai pas fait les humains. Welcome, I hope you enjoy your time here with us. It's fun, man. I hope you're going to see some more things that you like to get involved with. This opportunity is also not limited only to the South Africans. It is completely open to the entire world. That's what makes it so amazing because we live in a society that is not bound by the boundaries that they've built for us. We we are touching each other with our energy right now, no matter where you are. How beautiful is that? And you know what we're using that connection for? To share love, share positivity, and hopefully make a change in this giant, only one place we can call home. So remember, it's for anyone, please, I'd love to. I'm, I'm definitely gonna make that video and I highlight this. I always feel better when coming here. Da Vinci Codex, if you are not familiar, please make your way over to this lady girl's part. Listen, your your poetry, your voice needs to be heard. There's more from you, I know it's coming. And, and I know that there's still a collaboration waiting between me, you and the Ashanti. I was planning on like, actually send me your WhatsApp numbers. If you're watching still, send me your WhatsApp number if you can, we, we could, so we can connect this. If you're in the Musenberg area, Ashanti's a photographer. She, will, she won't take pictures of you. She'll help you capture moments. So, so good to have you here, Da Vinci Codex, Canada. I, that was actually like my escape plan when I had a moment of weakness and I, I felt like maybe there is no hope for, for, my, for the best country in the world. Maybe there's no chance because I was hurt so deeply. But it was only a pain that I needed to actually face and confront to help me understand that that wasn't the root because I love my country. I love my continent. I love my planet. I love my fellow human beings. And there are more people that feel that way. So the more people that feel that way, maybe we can just make a difference. And instead of me running away to Canada, I was like really convinced that was where I was gonna go because I love everything about it. The Canadian people and their, their history is richer than just maple syrup and hockey and A. <laughs> uh, da Vinci Codex, yes, positive environment. You barely get this on TikTok. I'm sad to hear that, but I'm glad that you're here. Um, let's have us in in the presence of. Oh, no, girl, you're gonna make me gonna summer feel like this. I, I am a. I would like to consider that the reflection of the things that you might identify in me is the hidden truth about your own character. Your greatness is waiting for you, my sister. Able die scale combo. Now, Sinjay, I can die scale. Ik denk eens op het, wat is hij overseas plekken gaat koop van die ocean plekken nu? Ik heb mijn kliks gaan krijgen al. Hij werkt, hij even gave me the slippy, so I can go give it back if it doesn't work. It works. It works. Ik ga veel foto's sturen, ik ga veel face, you'll see. If you want to also, that's the other thing, you can connect with me on my Telegram group. So in my, in my bio, there's like a whole ways, a bunch of ways and things that I really want to share and that I feel is prudent for everybody to feel, uh, to experience. But if you can connect with me on my Telegram, we can like, you, you're in my pocket. Like we are in each other's pocket at any moment. You go, woo, Etienne, and Jeno, go up there. I get now so clever, I go poop. But that is now so erg. I go three and here. My right at the end, I go bouncy man. My car is a bloody alarm. But I'm going to go. Now I'm going to be on the day to deal it. Now, leave for you and love your content, bye, man. Then do that. Connect with me. I, that's the whole reason why I'm here because I know that whatever it is that my destiny has, whatever your destiny has. If our pauses are supposed, our pauses, if our pauses are supposed to be crossing, we will crossing for them. And I would not want to stand in the way of what is going to be wonderful and offered to everyone, everywhere that is waiting for that beautiful aroma and fragrance that you have been hiding. I want to help you get it out. So connect with me and let's make a difference. Uh, you're so funny. Keep it up. Oh, I appreciate love that. Thank you. Can do much more good with laughter, I feel. Uh, let's go to the last couple of comments. Let's see, you're super awesome. Oh man, you know, with, with all this, you know what's so amazing for me? I, I feel this sense of comfort 
and I work at home alone, right? So my wife works works her butt off. Moment for my amazing wife. She works her butt off every single day, six days a week. And she deals with a lot of people, a lot of personalities. She's a beauty therapist, masseuse, makeup artist. She's a phenomenal woman. And if you're in the industry, then you'll understand that it's it's not for... It, it, there's a lot of salons out there, yeah, sure, but it's not for everybody. Um, and, and I'm at home all day, every day, left to make sure that I steer the ship and that I can try and do my best to contribute to making sure that our family's plan of raising the tide for everyone so that all the boats can rise is a reality. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm alone a lot of the time. I have the guy in the chair that I get to connect with, which is amazing. Shout out to the guy in the chair. Uh, I have I have my, my go-tos. I have a, my circle so small, it's legitimately a dot. But I have people that I honestly feel are not even family, not even friends, not even contributors. They are extensions of myself and extensions of the universe and of the greater good. And yeah, of course, I was like, yeah, Etienne, look at how you think you are so amazing. No, 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 no. It's just like, that's, where I, that's how I frame my story and I choose to experience my, my ex- existence here on earth. And, and the reason why I'm mentioning this is because I'm alone. When I get to do this with you guys, when you comment, when you send me a message, when you share, when you give me a like, when you have this interaction with me, when you message on the tele, those are, those are the moments where I can, I get like, I feel comfortable and I also feel like a sense of reassurance where I'm like, it doesn't matter whether it's a hundred million or if it's one, whatever it is that I'm doing that I've put out with the intention to make a difference, to make someone happy so that their life can be better and they can have a better perspective and try to by influence, do something to make the world a better place is working. That is the most incredible feeling. No stage, no check, no accolade, no nothing can come close to that. And you are part of that and I'm grateful for that. So thank you. And and, and this is just so I can address the super awesomeness about it. Yeah. I love the commentary and I love the, the positive feedback you give me. That makes me feel so good because it means that the community that we've got here is a positive community. If this is the first time you're here, you don't, have any, you don't even have to reach out to me. You don't even have to talk to anyone. Anybody that is within the FTV community, any one of them, find love. Oh, pardon me. You'll find some positive influence. Even if you have to dig a little harder with some of us, I know. Some of us is a bit of club and it's caught a bit of digging. But you'll find it there and that's amazing. Uh, you guys make one feel welcome. Oh, yeah. We've adopted you, by the way. You are a South African. Nam- Namibia, we still be do citizenship, but she's now a South African. Um... You're an inspiration. Oh, man. You inspire me, man. That's the thing. I'm a mirror. We'll share some TikToks. Keep muting. I will share some more. TikTok keeps muting my videos. Ooh. Share them then to us. Even if you want to share it to me, then I'll post Be like, I can't stop all of us. Share it, girl. Uh, imagine people dieting and reading my poetry. Ha <laughs> ha! Say no to the... No... When I stand on the scale, I turn it into a spork. My life is thin and I feel so great that biatch at the gym can bloody well wait. I'm just saying the poetry has a niche. Let's do it. I'm waiting for a Da Vinci Codex. Okay, we're almost time. Oh, and I don't want to miss any of this. This is the reason why I want to have that off the connect. But thank you so much to everybody that, that, that always comes and sits in and connects with us during lunchtime. I appreciate, love you. Thank you for supporting local. Thank you for influencing a positive human with the intention of trying to make some uh, happy change through making people laugh. You're a great inspiration to me. I am so grateful for everything and everywhere that you will take us because this is no longer about me. It's about us. And I look forward to seeing you anywhere out there in the multiverse and especially in the very next video. You're amazing. Continue to shine your light. You're great. Love and light. I appreciate, love you. Go have a good day. I don't need to last to be clear. Listen to the music. Um, Stephen, Stephen, pump the bloody treffers. I will not come in, Slias. Yeah, that chill music, yeah. Why? I clear the car and then can I fuck off? I'm working on a pizza editing. Oh wow! I have telegraph perfect, Joanne. Jump in there. 
more sana after their lives. I always do something productive. I'm so happy to hear that. Once a week, it's you need to have a life. The tribe has spoken. The tribe will be heard. I almost missed it. Dang, I need to set the alarm. Every day, one o'clock. I'm going to do it every day, one o'clock for 30 minutes. Uh, prophecy, your first lady, she's the queen. She's the absolute queen. Um, this is soul recognition, respect. Oh man, Da Vinci Codex. I'm waiting for that message. Neil, yo, Eisterbert. Welcome, my brother. It's good to have you here. I so believe, I so believe, do the Afrikaans and Chinese. Okay, now for the annual from the video of Han Dan Chao Agnet for Mr. Neil, the Chinese for recounts. Anger, let no more fit. Chinese can't stay as the world. Anger, look at that, the under look at the top of the top. In uh, a link on my bio, I say the little I can't find all the other Chinese Chinese cans. <laughs> you guys are amazing. I love you. Stay safe, stay positive, and I'll see you tomorrow at one.